welcome back to my channel i want to say a very big thank you to all of my subscribers if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe like my video share my video if you're actually having any problem regarding sewing or this video please don't hesitate to to drop a comment down on the comment section please if you actually like what i've done with this video please don't hesitate to like this video, share it with your friends. And if you actually try this slip out, you can send me a message at Stylish Ninja on Facebook, on Instagram, or, or on the Facebook page, on the Facebook on group, which is Stylish Styles. And so you can also send me a message and post the picture of what you have done. So actually today, I'm going to be drafting this um, cool trendy net sleeve that is in vogue actually this video was requested by some of my followers there was actually a, a platform top that i made i made this sleeve and they were asking so that was why i decided to make this video so today i've actually cut out some some of those straps for the, the soft net i'm going to be using this net is actually soft that i'm going to be using for this video so first I begin as i go along i'll explain to you so this is a, actually a basic sleeve pattern that i've made this um, basic sleeve pattern if you want to know how i made it you can actually check some of my videos on how to draft sleeves so now we're explaining the measurements for you the measurements the armhole that i'm, I'm actually going to be using for this video is actually eight inches that's eight plus eight which is 16 that's the round arm hole the round arm hole is actually 16 so when you divide 16 into two you have eight inches so this is eight inches that's from here to here this point is eight inches so i added half an inch to it for allowance so i will now have eight and a half when i measure from here now i have eight and a half then the length that i'm actually going to be using for this um sleeve the sleeve is actually divided into two two section i'll have I'll, I'll be attaching the another net to this part so from here that's the length the first half part of the length is actually 10 inches so i added another half an inch to it to give me 10 and 10 and half then the round sleeve that's the, for the top part of this part the round sleeve is actually another 10 inches so i'll be adding another half an inch to it which will give me 10 and half so also the the bicep that most times i always tell people to always measure the bicep what is bicep this part which is the upper part of the sleeve that is actually the bicep that i normally measure it helps you so for this bicep of this um, sleeve is actually six is 13 inches so i added another half which will give me 13 and a half so now i'm gonna be placing my pattern i'll place it on this uh this actually this net that i have here is just a rough net i've used it before it's just a leftover net so i'll place my pattern like this here like this and then i'll cut out i'll just use my hand to secure it like this can see now I, I now have my sleeve this is the upper part of the sleeve so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is this part of the sleeve this is actually another part of the net that i'm going to be attaching to this down part but first let me explain to you this one you can actually choose whatever length you want so the best way to do this is you actually measure from your shoulder to wherever you actually want your sleeve to get to for instance if it is 20 and you know initially we measured out 10 so that means this part is going to be 10 inches i'm just using it you, if your sleeve is going to be 22 you that means you have to measure another 12 as in this down part is going to be 12 inches so for this initially we got 10 inches from here so for this down part i'm actually going to be making use of seven inches this is what i have i actually have seven inches here and this up part is going to be half an inch allowance that i'm going to be using so the seven inches 
is this is actually 15 inches why i said 15 is when you open it up like this i actually have the full length like this is actually 15 inches so when i fold into two i'll, ha I'll now have seven and a half then for the width of the 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 down part this you determine whatever length you want to use because i'm actually going to be pleating it so i'm actually going to be pleating it so during that process you have to make it a little bit longer as in it has to be twice or three times what we have you know initially this was 10 inches you can make it like 30 inches so to enable you pleat properly and the the, the, the the width also how full the pleat is going to be will determine how wide it's going to be for this um tutorial the length i actually have i actually have 27 like i told you i said it's left over if it was an actual fabric i'm actually going to be making use of 30 inches but this is 27 so i'm just going to leave it this way i'll leave it this way so this is 27 inches so i'll open it up like this i'll open this part up like this And then I'll take those parts like this. So the ne next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be pleating it here. So you understand what I what I mean. So I'll take it like this and bring it this way. I'm going to be doing kiss pleats on it, on this down part. So I'll just use my pins like this. I'm just assuming this is your machine but most times it's always good when you're dealing with pleats it's always good to pleat out before you take to the machine to sew so i'll take it like this i'll bring this part this way i'll pin it and then take bold i'll do bold pleats on it you can choose to do it however you want to however you want to plate it you can decide to make it more close and then you drop the remaining one on this side so i'll pin it i'll take it to my machine now and sew it and then bring it back to show you before i attach this part so i'll finish sewing this i'm going to be trimming it out like this I'll trim it. Let's trim. So the first part is now out. The next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be adding this one to read to the sleeve. And for this, what I did was I just measured I have 36 here you can decide to do it 34 35 40 so it depends on how full like I told you initially depends on how full you can see the key split you can see it the, the, the pen, and they also call it you can also call it box split you can see it's looking like boxes so that's why they also call it box split so for this like I said I used 30 I use 36 inches that's for the length and then the width the width that I have here I actually have three and a half so I'm going to be trimming out this excess from it three and a half that is seven inches when I open like this when I open like this I have actually have seven inches I actually have seven inches so when I fold like this 
when I fold it into two, it will now be three and half three inches. The half inch is actually for the same allowance. So I'll just trim it out nicely like this. For this measurement, you can decide to do it however you want to. You can decide if you want it bigger, you can decide to make it bigger. So that's that is that. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing on this part, I'm going to be pleating it on along this line. This same line, that's the joining line between the upper part and the down part. I'm going to actually be pleating this here. So I'll take it like this. I'll just bring it down like this. Those uh, edges, they're kind of rough. When I'm done, I'll actually trim it and make it neat. So I'll take it like this. The mid part, you can decide to make a notch on it for you to know the mid part. So, this is the middle part. So, I'll take my pins like this, and then pin those points. I'll pin it here. This, when you are doing this, you are going to be using a very matching thread, as in the thread that. It will not even show the thread has to come on flush with it. It has to be the same. So I'll take it like this. This part now, I'm not going to be doing this box split. I'm just going to be doing the regular pleats on it. So I'll take it like this and bring here. This is the center point. I'll pin it. That's where I'm actually going to be sewing when I take it to my machine. This mid point like this and then take this part you see what i'm doing i just split it back back if you are doing this i actually advise you make um you can make yours like 10 inch make it like 10 So I'll secure it with my pins before I'll take it to my machine to sew. So this made point. That's where I'm going to be running my stitch through. So, when I'm done, I'll cut out the excess. Another thing I'm going to be doing now, this part, I'm going to be trimming it. It has to be straight and neat, very neat. And it has to be equal. So the next thing I'm going to be doing, this leaf, you can decide to leave it up like this or you can decide to pull it down however you want. So the next thing I'm going to be doing now, I'll take it to my machine and then measure the actual width. Like I told you initially that we started, this place, like I told you, was 10 inches. So now fold it like this, fold it back like this. This down part, you don't need to measure it. And make sure this place is 10 inches, that's 5 inches. And then your round armhole, initially, you know, we used 8 inches. We used 8 inches. So I'll measure from here to here. I'll measure my 8 inches. This is my 8 inches. This is 8 and a half. So I'll make sure that it is 8. And then I'll start sewing from here. Sew from here. Like I told you, this part was 13 inches. So I have 6 and a half here for this middle part. I'll measure it like this. This is six and a half. This is the bicep part. This part just a little bit down, like three inches down. So six and a half here. Then this part, this is five inches. You can see this is the five inches. So I have the extra 
half an inch so i'll take it to my machine and sew it and then bring it and show you the concluding part of the sleeve you can see how beautiful it is No, it is a net sleeve so you attach it like this as you can see see how beautiful it is and still pull it a little bit up and then just attach like this so as you can see i've come to the end of this illustration you can see how beautiful this sleeve is it's very simple and easy sleeve so you can just make it you can use it for any of your yoke tops whatever your peplum top so like I said, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like my video, share my video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.